All right, everybody, how we doing? Matt Moda here with Odds Jam. We got the college basketball national championship game tonight, San Diego State versus UConn. And in this video, I'm going to give you my favorite player props for this game tonight. If you want a betting preview where I give my official prediction, talk about the game and everything, that came out on my YouTube channel yesterday. So today we're specifically going to be talking about player props using Odds Jam to find the best value on these player props. So the tool that I have used here is the low holds page, just using that to try and find some sort of line discrepancy and then clicking through the plays to make sure that we are finding some sort of value. So the first play that we're going to go ahead and lock in here is Nathan Mensa under five and a half rebounds. This is at plus 116 odds at FanDuel. So the reason why I like this play is just compare the odds on FanDuel to the rest of the sports books, right? So we can ignore underdog fantasy because they have the same implied odds for everything. Like they're always going to have equal juice, but every other book, Pinnacle actually favors the under, which is insane. They have the under at minus 117, the over at minus 113. So they have the under as the more expensive play, which is them telling you that they think it's more likely than not that Nathan Mensa goes under this rebounds prop. And then the other two uh, are kind of in the middle, Bet Online and Fox Bet. They have this pretty much at even money. And then FanDuel is the clear outlier here at plus 116. So both Pinnacle and FanDuel do seem to be kind of extreme outliers with the truth being somewhere in the middle. But even if that's the case, that's a good price that we got here on FanDuel at plus 116, right? It's an outlier to every sports book and probably should be priced closer to like the plus the plus 100 even money type of uh, odds market. So Nathan Mensa under five and a half rebounds plus 116 odds at FanDuel as my first play for this video. Next up, we are looking at uh, Darian Trammell to go over nine and a half points. Similar logic here, just compare the FanDuel line, which I should say this is at FanDuel at minus 106, as you can see here and just compare it to every other book. So again, we're ignoring underdog and prize picks, DFS companies, but BetOnline has this at minus 118. And then every other book, minus 125, minus 125, minus 136. The only book that has it close to the FanDuel line is Play Eagle at minus 110. But every other book, again, pricing it pretty decently above the number that we got it at, which is another way of just saying, this is a good bet. If every single sports book has this priced pretty significantly higher, except for one, which is we're really looking at the majority here, then the odds of the bet we're placing, that's the sign that you got a good bet. So Darian Trammell over nine and a half points, minus 106 odds at FanDuel is play number two. Next play, we're looking at Adama Sonogo to go over 15 and a half points. So there's a couple reasons why I like this one. Number one, again, ignoring price picks, but Pinnacle minus 143, Play Eagle minus 136. So pricing it pretty decently above the bet MGM number that we got it at, at minus 115. But another reason why I like this play is if you view this event page and open it in a new tab, it pulls up the screen that you see here, which is just giving you the odds of where every sports book is pricing his po uh, the point total at for every player. It's not just Sunogo, but... If we do detail in on Sonogo, we locked him in over 15 and a half, minus 115 at that MGM. We'll look at the other sports books that price it. They all have him priced a full point higher at 16 and a half. Not only that, but Bet Online also has that 16 and a half as pretty much a 50 50 proposition, right? They're charging equal juice on each side, which is them telling you that they don't know if he's more or less likely to go over or under 16 and a half, right? They don't have a, a feel for it. So they're charging equal juice and we're getting that a full point lower. So we can just use this information that bet online is telling us that at a minimum, they think he's going to score 16, at least 16 points, right? Or else they would price his over under at 15 and a half or whatever. So a couple reasons why this play is good because the odds. And then of course, where every other book uh, that doesn't have it at 15 and a half has it at 16 and a half. So when you are playing certain markets like point totals and stuff, you do want to make sure that you view things in uh, the event page in a new tab and just get the holistic view of the betting market because you might see some discrepancies 
between the point totals themselves, which is exactly what we have here. So play number three, Adama Sonogo over 15 and a half points. That's minus 115 odds at bet MGM. And then the last play I have here, again, we are backing Adama Sonogo in this time to go over eight and a half rebounds. So it's pretty split between FanDuel and uh, Play Eagle FanDuel at plus 116, Play Eagle at plus 112. But Bet Online being a sharp sports book we use to kind of set lines, having this at minus 103 and then Fox Bet having it at minus 105 as well is showing us that we are getting a pretty good price here on FanDuel at plus 116. And all we're doing here is just looking for value in the market. So Adama Sonogo over eight and a half rebounds as my fourth and final player prop for the national championship game tonight. If you're tailing any of these, comment and let me know. We'd love to hear it. Other than that, appreciate everybody watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit me up on social media and that's it. So enjoy the game tonight. Most importantly, enjoy the game tonight and have a good one.